Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. If you guys have been following me on Facebook, you know I've been putting together a custom bow. Uh, I bought a Valor a few months ago. This is a bow that I've really liked and been looking for one uh, for quite a while since it came out in 2011. I've been trying to find a black one, but I couldn't find a black one. So I've ended up buying one that had the standard Predator camo on it. And if you guys have ever seen the Valor, they're great shooting bows. I really like the way they shoot. But the problem with them is when they got the Predator camo on them, the factory camo is terrible on the Valor. It's a, it's a Strether low-end bow, and the, the camo is just terrible on them. Uh, the pattern's blotchy, and we'll put up some pictures of my bow here. My, you can see bare aluminum on a lot of sections of my bow. The limb pockets were, were hitting, and when they pivot down, they were just like when you tighten down the weight, they would uh, just, it was just rubbing the dip off and it was just really thick and really just nasty looking. It had black limbs on it and I put it in a bow vise, had Struther and white. When I pulled it out of the vise, there was a bunch of white residue in my vise and I couldn't figure out what it was till I lifted the bow up, turned it over and I could see most of the Struther on the bottom was gone. So I decided that I was going to have this bow uh, dipped and I've had some bad experiences with um, having a bow dipped in the past. I had one that was it took them two months to dip it, and they did it twice. When it came back, the, the dip on it was really thick. Had a hard time getting anything. Had the limbs back in the limb pockets, cams back in the limbs, and it was just really tough to get anything to go back together on it. And then, because they didn't do it right the first time, they dipped over the top of the bad finish the second time, it all started flaking off. Where I put my accessories, was just flaking off, and where I put my... Uh, Limb, limb bolts through, was flaking off real bad, and the thing just looked terrible. Uh, I mean, the, the camo was cool. It was a moth wing winter mimicry, but the, the dip was just terrible. So this time I did so, a lot of research, and uh, I went with a, a guy that had a really good reputation and someone who I'd talked to in the past and had a real good feeling about, and that was Hanover. I, I have a good experience with it. Jeff recommended that we go with uh, Harvest Moon, and... Uh, from Moonshine and I decided to go with an orange base so we're going to show you some pictures here of the before and then we're going to show you some pictures here of the after. Alright, so you can see in that video, this Harvest Moon looks fantastic, this moonshine. Uh, I've got an orange base on this, and the bow looks awesome. As far as quality goes, the quality on this is excellent. I mean, excellent. There are no blemishes on this at all. The uh, bow looks great. The finish looks absolutely perfect. No rough spots in it. When I put my... Um, cams in and put my back in my limb pockets absolutely perfect went right down in there and had absolutely no problems whatsoever getting this bow back together as far as durability put into the limb pockets and things like that scuffing it up no problems at all uh, where the press hit it up here didn't bother the press or didn't bother the finish there at all where my accessories go no problems there even when I turned on my stabilizer it didn't bother the finish at all so not only was is the finish excellent, I mean it looks fantastic. Durability is definitely there. The, he did the job right. Uh, Hanover did it and made it look fantastic and did the job right. Um, also his turnaround time was great. I mean I sent this bow out, uh, I got it back in, in about two weeks and, and maybe even less time than that. 
So, because I've been in and out of um, out of town lately, doing a lot of traveling, and absolutely quick turnaround, affordability. Uh, price on this was fantastic, and and Jeff over at Hanover just did a fantastic job. Absolutely awesome job. Can't say enough about not only the value, but the durability and the turnaround time was great. Now, I've also taken and customized this bow out a little bit further. Uh, not only did I have Hanover dip it in that orange, I also got with Bojax and got some uh, got some accessories here with Bojax. You can see I got a string stopper on there as well. I got some some uh, string jacks. I've also got some of the new product here, which is a, a sleeve that slips on here. It's going to allow for vibration uh, dampening, and it's also going to allow for a little bit of speed acceleration on there as well. So, uh, and I got a, a black Bojack stabilizer on the front with the Mac Jack, Max Jack on there to absorb a little bit of vibration as well. And that's the cool thing about Bojacks is you can go on their website and you can order all these accessories custom colored. So I was able to go on there and get my orange uh, accessories on there and, and didn't have to wait any kind of special turnaround time or anything like that. So Bojacks uh, accessories not only do they do a really good job of dampening vibration, but they're also cool. You can get them in, in all these custom colors. So I also ordered a set of, of uh, speckled orange or speckled white and flame orange strings from uh, Dakota Bowstrings. Uh, actually, this is a Dakota from Stone Mountain Bowstrings. So got that on there to, to kind of finish out the customization of this bow. And overall, I couldn't be happier with this thing. I mean, it looks fantastic. Uh, Jeff over at Hanover did a fantastic job. I mean, my first experiences with with uh, having a bow dipped were really negative and kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And I was kind of hesitant to do it again, but I really wanted to keep this bow. And I really just couldn't stand the way that the uh, camo looked on it before. So now, with a little bit of extra money and some extra time into it, I've got a completely customized bow that I think looks really, really sharp. This moonshine looks awesome. I really like the Harvest Moon. And the cool thing about it is, is I've got a, I've got a, a customized bow that's really going to stand out on the range and stand out when we go uh, 3D shooting. It's also something I can go hunting with. I mean, this bow is going to blend in in the fall and absolutely great. And if the deer gets close enough to see that bright orange Bojax, he's going to have an arrow in him. So, um, a fantastic uh, looking pattern and also one that's very that's very usable. Very, you know, I can I can go out and hunt with it as well as show it off at the range. So if you guys, um, if you're interested in having a bow dip, I highly recommend Jeff over at Hanover. Cannot say enough good things about, about this bow. I'm absolutely tickled with the way it turned out. And so we'll put his information right here. Uh, we'll also put the information for Bojax because these Bojax look sweet and do a heck of a job of vibration dampening and they're just fantastic people to deal with. So we'll put Bojax website right here as well. And you can really customize the bow out you know, send it over to Jeff and have it dipped. Get with with Bojax and have some custom accessories done. You can have your bow like this with just a little bit of a little bit of cash and a little bit of effort. One that's really going to stand out and a good quality, durable finish on there. Just absolutely tickle pink with the way this thing turned out. So be sure to check those websites and for more product reviews, how-to videos. Be sure to check out our website. That's IkesOutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.